G'day guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to spin up a virtual machine in Microsoft Azure. So this is the portal, what you log in as. So you log in and you're basically here. To make a new virtual machine, you click on virtual machines and you want to go add. Then you'll notice that it will slide over to the next thing here. And you get this big bunch of things that you can add. So there's all these different things you can do. What we're going to use is Windows Server. And it'll come up with a bunch of different servers. So we're going to use Server 2012 R2 Data Center Edition. So click on that. And you get to pick your deployment model. And basically the resource manager for new workloads. You can click learn more to learn more about it and it will take you over here to compare the deployment models. And it gives you a bunch of information which I'll leave you to read. We're going to use it in resource manager model. Hit create. Then we need to configure the settings. So it'll come here, you need to give it a name, we're going to call it test test server um, minus one, the username and a password. Then you pick your subscription. So I've got this as your pass subscription and the resource group. So we're going to give it a new resource group. If there was already resource groups allocated or made, you can allocate them to the resource group you want, but we're going to use it there. Give the resource group a name and it'll give you a tick. If it's one that's already created, it won't give you this tick and you'll need to give it an individual name. Then you want to pick where it is. I'm going to pick Australia Southeast because that's the closest place to me. So therefore I'll have the closest connection. Then you can pick your virtual machine size. So it has all these different recommended sizes. You can click view all to see all of the different sizes. And if you're trying to figure out how much these are going to cost, I've made another video, which you'll see pop up here. That shows you how to work out how much the pricing is for these different virtual machines. So as you see, local SSD. We're going to pick D1 standard, select to pick it. You can use all these different ones. Then we're going to need the storage. You can pick the premium. It doesn't support premium disks. If you want to use premium disk, you need to pick one that does support it. And it'll create all of this stuff for you, or you can change it to suit yourself. You can see create new. If you've already got ones, you can set them to all the ones. And if you want to set an availability set, you can. And if you want to monitor, see all of these little things have explanations on them as well. So you can click those little eyes to get an explanation. But we're just going to hit OK. Then it'll give you a basic summary of it and make sure that it passed the validation. So I'm going to hit OK. And it'll submit it for deployment. And you'll get this little window there here that gives you the stage. And it should show up on your dashboard too. So you can unpin the dashboard here or customize the dashboard. So you can change the size and everything. And it tells you what stage it's at. So once it's finished deploying, you'll get this little message here and this thing will pop up. And you'll see that the CPU utilization has gone up because it's booting up. And if we click this connect button, it'll download a little RDP link, which you'll be able to click, type in the username, and agree to this.
And here you go. Do you want you've joined to your new Windows Server 2012 R2 virtual machine hosted in Azure? You can click yes to say that you want to find things on this network. It'll open the dashboard. If we go in here, properties, you can see that it's got a Xeon processor, three and a half gig of RAM. We can see the drives, what it said it was, some stuff here. And if we are to look at the task manager, you'll see CPU, memory, Ethernet. So now you have your fresh Windows Server 2012 R2 installation in the cloud. That took about 10 minutes to do the deployment. In here you'll be able to monitor the stats, so you can add another section if you want to. And say you want to monitor the disk read, and the memory usage, and also the disk write. We'll now be able to scroll down, and you'll be able to see all them in the dashboard. Exit the tile. Yeah, and you can see that it's running there, done customizing. See, it's running there. So now we've got our test server running in the dashboard. We can click on it, download the connect thing again if you want to re download that. Look at all the little specs that it's doing currently. So you can see if it's using a lot of CPU or the memory spiked or it's reading. Yeah, and we can connect to the server. So anyway, that was how to spin up a new virtual machine inside of Azure. Don't forget like and subscribe to see more videos, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.